What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode. What's up, Tang Washington? What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. We are back again with the Frankfurt Arsenal IntelliDropper Auto Powder Measure. I've had a little bit of time to play around with it and pretty much get down the basics. I got a bit more work to do and experimentation with it, but I have used it to make a few uh, 6.5 Creedmoor rounds and so far so good. No real complaints about the actual function of the machine but getting into a bit of the setup. Setup is super duper simple. Um, the instructions say, you know, when you set the machine up, let it sit and stabilize for at least 15 minutes. I think I let mine sit for maybe hour, hour and a half. I got caught up doing some other stuff. The keypad itself is pretty straightforward. The display, I think it's pretty nice. It's very bright and you can see all the buttons. You have your mode button, calibration, powder calibration. Of course, you have your number keypad, you have your units, zero button, and the trickle button. Now, after you let it sit, you can start your calibration, and it's just as simple as this. You'll press your calibration button. The scale will beep, and it will prompt you to put one of your 50 gram weights into the powder pan. You want to center it as close as you can without touching the actual spout tube. Okay, once it's stable, you're going to press your cap button again. And it's going to prompt you to put in your second 50 gram weight. Same thing, you want to get them both in here as close as you can without touching the spout as centered as you possibly can. And once the scale reads stable, you'll press the, calibra the calibration button once again. And you're good to go. It'll give you a pass message if it passed calibration. So, remove the weights. Once you hit zero, you're ready to start trickling. So I'm going to put some of my powder into the hopper in a second and we're gonna get back with a powder calibration. Okay, we're back. So normally I wouldn't have cut the camera just to add powder to the hopper, but I'm doing everything holding my camera this time because I don't have my tripod with me. But to do a powder calibration, of course you put in your powder of choice and you would press powder cow button and what the machine will do is it will start to trickle a quantity of powder and it will do this in several stages at different speeds and what it's doing is it's testing how fast it can trickle the powder and still keep an accurate measurement So basically it's looking for that optimal speed that it can triple the powder. And once that has been completed, it'll beep to let you know that it's done. Take the powder in the pan. Back into the hopper. And once your scale reaches zero, of course it does drift from time to time, but that's not a major thing. If it's an issue, just re-zero it and you can start trickling your powder. 
to enter a particular pound of weight, you just type it in on the keypad and it will display your target right there. Come down here and you press the play button and it will begin to trickle the target. So at first you noticed that it gave you a burst and then it went down to a slight trickle. That burst was from the calibration. The machine recognized the optimal speed that it could trickle the powder. And then once it gets close to the number that you want, it slows down until it gets that precise measurement. Now the mode button, what that will do is that will allow you to switch between manual and auto mode. So with auto mode, when you have your target powder weight set, once you dump the powder, of course I'm gonna dump it back into the hopper for this. When you set the tray back in it, when it reaches zero, it'll automatically start to trickle the next powder charge. And it's just as simple as that. Hit the mode button again, switches you back over to manual mode. And of course, it also keeps account of how many powder charges that you have thrown. Now, of course, when you're in manual mode, you will have to manually press the button each time in order to get it to start the powder charge. On the right side of the screen, you have your trickle button at the bottom. Of course, if you press the trickle button, it will begin to trickle powder as you hold the button down. So if you don't have a particular powder weight set or you're trying to get to a particular powder weight or you want to adjust it by just a little bit, you can press the trickle button and it will trickle out a little bit of powder at a time. Now, whatever that precise measurement is, I'm not 100% sure. And I think that actually varies by powder type. Right now I'm using a small stick powder, but I also have the smaller disc powder and I have the spherical powders as well. Each one trickles different, but it will handle all of them. As a matter of fact, the whole reason for me getting this was with my manual powder measure, I was having issues with the longer stick powders like Vardiant and 4064. Um, I would go to measure a charge and some of the granules would kind of get stuck and make it a little bit difficult for me to actually bring down the powder measure arm to throw the powder charge. So I wanted to get something that would make life a little bit easier for me, make things a bit simpler and do it a little bit better than me just trying to manually adjust that so hopefully moving forward this will definitely improve the accuracy of my powder charges that i throw of course i still have my manual scale and i will still measure the powder charges but so far i don't have any complaints except for one now another good thing about this particular powder measure is it comes with an app so Everything that you can do here on the keypad, you can also do that in the app. But the issue that I'm having with the app is this.
Yes, every time I try and start the app, it crashes. So even though I have seen other videos of other people using the app, I myself have not had the pleasure of using the app. And from what I can tell, it has a lot of interesting features that you can use that will definitely make life a whole lot easier for you and basically help you keep track of your progress when you're doing your load development. Quick thing, the hopper holds just over about a pound of powder. Of course, they got a little brush back here for cleanup. When you're ready to dump your powder, if you haven't used it all, this spout, the black thing on the tip, you rotate it around and on the bottom side, there's a hole for the powder to be drained. Always make sure that you close your spout before you turn the machine off. Honestly, it's the best practice to make sure that you don't have any accidental spills when you're ready to use your next powder or when you're ready to use the machine again. Also, another thing to remember is that there is still some powder inside of the spout so make sure you trickle that powder out and there could still be some at the bottom of the machine so make sure that you look around and make sure that you get all of that whenever you're emptying the machine also making sure that your spout is closed keeps you from dumping this powder on your table now i've noticed that you have to be a little bit thorough when you're taking the powder out because it is possible for a few granules to get stuck in there. So give the machine a light tapping once you've got the majority of the powder out so that you can make sure you get the remainder of this particular powder out to prevent the mixing of any other powders together. But again, like I said, so far, no real complaints. Um, actually, to be honest, full disclosure, this is actually my second unit because the original unit that I had, the one from my previous video, that one gave me some weird problems that I actually never seen before. And when I called to describe it to the Frankfurt Arsenal customer service, because of the newness of the one that I had, because it was actually made from their January 2023 lot, it was kind of weird what it was doing. But they sent me out another one. Um, I sent that one back to them so that they can examine it and see, you know, what's going on with it. Because, Like I said, it was from their newer lot, but I got this one so far. It works great and I've got a lot more loads to make. So we will see how progress goes in the future and hopefully we'll see good things. But as always, I thank you for your time. If this is your first time watching any of my videos, I hope you like what you see. And if you do, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.